Welcome to Code with Daniel. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to add light and dark mode functionality to your Next.js app using Shadzi NUI. By the end of this tutorial, you're going to have an application like this where we can toggle light mode and we can also toggle dark mode. This is very essential to make your application look professional. And I'll show you step by step. Okay, let's dive in. We'll start by creating a folder inside our desktop and you can name it whatever you want. I've named it, I've named mine light and dark. Great, ensure it's an empty folder, then open VS Code and drag and drop. Now the next thing we need to do is just to open the terminal. You can come here inside these three dots here, click on terminal, then new terminal. Inside the terminal, we can paste the command to install Next.js. Inside the terminal, you can write this command npx create dash next dash app at latest and then a dot. This dot ensures that the project will be created inside our folder light and dark. Great. And then you can just press enter. One thing you have to ensure is that you use TypeScript. We'll be using TypeScript in this demonstration. So ensure you use TypeScript. I've also changed the name of our project to light and dark. Finally, ensure that your options look the same as mine. After correct installation, you should see success message. If you've done this, congratulations. That has been the most difficult part of this introduction. The rest part is going to be easy. And I'm going to show you step by step. Let's get started. Let us refine our project. I'll, you just come here inside the app folder and then inside page.tsx. Page.tsx is our home page. As always, let me enlarge this so that it, it can be more visible. Then collapse this div. Collapse it, then just delete it. We'll write our own div and inside it we can have another h1 tag or rather h3 and we can call it shadcn shadcn light and dark mode or rather just light and dark mode can put light and dark mode demo. Great. Inside this H3, you can put a class name and you can just say text 3 Excel. We want it to be large. And finally, we want the font to be bold. You can just say font bold. Those are the only changes. Next, we can run our server. Inside the terminal, just type npm run dev and you can open your browser. We can see our server is running on localhost 3000. You can click it or you can just copy and paste. And in localhost 3000, you should just see light and dark mode. Let us center this text. Let us go back and put another property inside the H3 class name and you can just say text center, it's text hyphen center. Then you can save and then you can go back inside our browser and when we refresh, we should see the text at the center. Great. The next thing you want to do is we'll move inside ShadCN or you can search, search for search ShadCN in your browser like this. And then you can click on it. We want to search for ShadCN light and dark mode. Great. Then click on dark mode. Then we, we move inside the Next.js is our framework. We'll click Next.js. Uh, great. And when you click on Shad, uh, ShadCN, light and dark, we have our dark mode here. And we have the steps. We need to install npm install next themes. But before installing this, we, we actually need to install ShadCN UI. So we'll come here inside the installation. We'll click on Next.js, the first solution here. And you can first install ShadCN. So you can copy this command npx shall see an at latest in it or rather if you want to install it all with, with all its default you can copy the second command i'm going to use the second command so the second command will enable us to skip all this and it will set it as default great so i'll come back here inside the terminal i'll open another terminal and i can just paste the command here so i'll paste the command and then press enter 
after correct installation you should see this success message here if you have done that great job and congratulations let us move to the next step so we'll go back inside light and dark mode great and we're going to copy this first command here npm install next dash hyphen themes we'll come here and inside the terminal you can just paste it here great after successful installation you should see a message like this let's move ahead to the next step so we have completed step one the second step we have to create a theme provider they've already provided us with a code we have we need to create inside the components folder we need to create a file named theme-provider.tsx and that's what we are going to do so inside our folder we'll come back here inside the app folder here not out just outside the app folder to ensure you are outside the app folder you can click around here and then right click and then add you can't do that actually i think we already have a components folder you can just check okay we do not have a components folder so we need to create it yes around here you just right click and then new folder and you're going to name it component great and inside the component folder we'll create a new file and we'll name it theme provider dot tsx dot tsx since we are using typescript typescript or dot ts great ensure it is dot tsx so that it can also render html elements great let us go back and see the content of this file so we have already the code here for step two has been given therefore you can just copy it and click here and then you can paste inside our our program so the code we have here the code and it is a client component you know it's a client com component since it has this uh, message here use client great let us move to the third step okay this is the third step and the second the second last step so we need to wrap our theme provider to the root layout so what we're going to do we have already completed step number two we need to import theme provider from components therefore I'll just go inside our our root layout so you come here inside the app then layout we need to wrap our children with theme provider this is the layout and if you come inside the layout we have the body and inside the body we have the children so i'll just come here slightly above the children and i'm going to call theme provider so you can just write theme provider and you can see we have a suggestion here which is correct theme provider so we'll just press enter and i need to wrap our children with this theme provider therefore i'll just copy that and after the children i can put the closing tag for theme provider we also need to pass some props inside the theme provider therefore you can just go back inside the documentation and you can see what props do we need to pass and these are the props that we need to pass the attribute default theme and enable system therefore i'm going to copy the props just come here inside the theme provider and paste it inside the first closing tag of theme provider so ensure it's inside here and we are done with, with that step it's as easy as that the next step is actually just to use it which is step four we need to use it so i'm going to just use a, this example and we have a code here so we have in this code they're using lucid lucid react for icons for instance if, if you just look here we have this icon here so for instance if i change to dark you can see the whole page is changing to dark and if i change to let's say system you can say see the whole page has changed okay when we change to to dark you can see we have a moon icon here so these icons the ones that, I, that they are using here is for lucid react 
Therefore, just come inside the terminal and install Lucid React. So I'll just type npm install Lucid React. Then press enter. Great job. After successfully installing Lucid React, we need to install something else. So if we look at this example, just here and the code you see here, they are using shard cn button. You can use just a native button, but let us just use shard cn button. So how do you know how to use shard cn button? In fact, I have a full tutorial on how to use shard cn in my YouTube channel. You can check it out. But for this tutorial, let me just show you. You can come here inside the components. And if you check, we have a button here. So I'll click button. And you can see the way we use it, we just have to add it. So you can copy this command npx shard cn at latest add button. And then paste inside your terminal. Then press enter. We need also to install something else. So if you if we go back, we can see also that they're using drop down menu. Now, how do we know how to use drop down menu? I'm going just to show you how to use drop down menu just in a, in a bit. But first, we need to know how to use drop down menu. We'll move inside the components and look for drop down menu. Great, and it's here, drop down menu. We'll click it and we can just have a look on how it's used. So, for instance, when you click open, you can see we have a menu here. Great. I think we also have another example here that we can check. New click menu, we have also another example here, which is beautiful. Now, how do we use this? We can just go back and installation. We can see that we have npx shard cn at latest add drop down menu. So you can also copy this, and I think this is will be this will be our last installation for this tutorial. Uh, great, and then you can paste in the terminal and wait for it to install. Just a quick overview of how the, the drop down menu works. You can see here, for instance. We are, you import drop down menu, drop down menu content, drop down menu item, label separator, and the trigger. So the trigger here, for instance, is open. So when you click open, you can see this is the trigger. And the content of the trigger are this profile, billing, team, and subscription. So you don't, don't get worried about all these terms and they're just easy things. Great. After that quick overview, we can proceed and finalize on our tutorial today. Finally, you can just copy this code as it is, and I'll show you where we'll tweak it. So just copy this code, and we're going to paste it inside the home page. So you'll come here inside the home page, inside page.tsx, and we can copy this. We can control V. But one thing we need to ensure is that we have a default here. So you can add export default. Ensure you have this default here. Great, we have export default function. Nice. And we have the drop down menu. Another thing we can add is just we can wrap this drop down menu or this return with a div. If I'm going to introduce a div here. And I'm going to wrap this drop down menu with this div. So you can put the div at on the opening and also a div on the closing side. Great. After doing that, we can add our H3 tag. So inside here, we can just put H3 and you can put the same way we had done light and dark mode demo. And inside, you can put a class name just as we had done. Text will be three Excel and font will be bold. Great. And with that change, finally, we can look at our website. But before we look at our website, let us see what this code does. We have a drop down trigger and the trigger, we have a trigger here. And what is wrapping the trigger is this button with a name toggle theme. And you can 
you can actually change it and these are the items inside the drop down menu but let us first see it in action ensure that you have text center great let us move inside our our website now when we look in our in our website we have light and dark mode now we have this icon here when i click this icon i can choose between light dark and system therefore i'm going just to choose light and let us see what happens great we have light and the text color has changed to black and this is how you implement as simple as that you implement in your pro project and in whatever you're going to do you can implement as easy as this so we can toggle between light and dark and also system thank you so much for watching if you've reached here you're a true fan ensure that you have subscribed and if you've done so i'm so grateful ensure that you hit the like button and you can share with your friends see you in the next one